Hey everybody, this is Scott. I wanted to share a quick encouragement. This week, my son had this very kind thing. He has this toy watch that he liked it growing up, but he gave it to his younger sister. And my daughter has eaten it up, loves this thing. Well, yesterday, she comes down at, let's say, 5.45 in the morning. It was before 6 a.m. And she's playing with her watch and... I love my watch, but the problem with this watch is anytime you open it, touch it, do anything, it does these chimes, these little songs, it talks to you, and it's kind of loud. So I remind her, hey, we're not doing this until everyone's up. That this needs to be put away because it's more of a toy to her. And just thinking about what her focus was. Was her focus on her gift and her new thing, new, new shiny thing, or is it thinking about others and preferring one another or, or saying, what is our goal as a family? Our goal is not to wake everyone up before 6 a.m. And so we have to fix our eyes on the prize. And that reminded me of Hebrews 12 and 2 where it says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And as I think about that, it just reminds me of the race that's marked out for us. And are we, are our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith? Or are they fixed on our little trinkets and the little gifts that maybe God has given us? And I just want to just give us a call to reset on fixing our eyes on Jesus, on who He is, and on the goodness of His, and His completeness that He brings, and the completeness of who He is, versus the things of this world. So I want to pray that over us. Jesus, thank you that you are the author and perfecter of our faith, that you are our prize. And we are thankful for all the gifts and the things that you bless us with. But we say it's you. It's you that we love. And help us once again just to be a, a people who set our eyes on you and run the race that's marked out before us. Thank you, God. Amen. Love you guys.